Are you serious? What? There is this huge... Well, it's not that it's huge, but I mean, it's a big asteroid. It's going to be going by the Earth on February the 15th, 2013. Talk about a close shave. February 15th, an asteroid about half the size of a football field will fly past the Earth only 17,200 miles above our planet's surface. There's no danger of a collision, but the space rock called 2012 DA-14 has NASA's attention. Get a cup of coffee. Matter of fact, I got the blue, the new blue cups. Are you serious? Jesus saves. Yes, we're bringing the blue cup back. Just came in. They're available. And matter of fact, I don't even have a picture of it up at my website. It still has the red picture, okay, the red cup. But but if uh, there is no, uh, look, you'll get a blue cup, all right? <laughs> all right, we'll, we'll change the picture tonight. But if you uh, make, uh, inquire about the red cup and you want the red cup, um, you'll get the blue cup. Does that make sense? Well, neither does these space rocks flying by Earth and, and NASA never telling us anything until it's almost too late. Get a cup of coffee! Mmm. That's fresh coffee. Mmm. Mmm. Jesus saves! Are you serious? Jesus saves! I love it. That makes the devil so mad. I, I happened to be at the, in, when I was in Chicago, at the hospital where my brother-in-law was having brain surgery. It was, here it was at 12 o'clock at night. There was like 20 people downstairs in the lobby doing CPR classes. And they were handing out these uh, travel mugs that said CPR, life. And I thought, okay, that's cool. But then I thought, you know what really is the truth is Jesus Christ, life. <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway. Let me just read to you what the Bible says real quick here. Now I'm going to go back to this report. I want to thank uh, uh, Delphini for getting this report to me. And I want to thank Alexi for getting some other information to me this morning. Uh, and RoboMom for getting that report on the Iranian event. And I think it was Alexi that got that information to me about the Iranian update. Yeah, so I think, and, and Reverend Gary, and I've gotten stuff from Rita of Oklahoma. But here's what the Bible says in Mark 13. And Jesus was asked about the signs of the end of times. And he said, yes, um, in verse 19, go to, go to Mark 13, 19. Listen to this. For in those days shall be affliction such as was not from the beginning of the creation, which God created unto this time, neither shall be. And except that the Lord had shortened those days, no flesh should be saved. But for the elect's sake, whom he hath chosen, he shall shorten the days. And then if any man shall say to you, Lo, here is Christ, or lo, he is there, believe him not. For false Christ and false prophets shall rise and shall show signs and wonders to seduce, if it were possible, even the elect. But take heed, behold, I have foretold you all things. But in those days after that tribulation, the sun shall be darkened, the moon shall not give her light, the stars of heaven shall fall, and powers that are in the heaven shall be shaken. Then shall they see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory, and then shall he send his angels and shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from the uttermost part of the earth to the uttermost part of heaven. So, uh, we're going to have some events take place that is, that's going to be going on in the sky. And so here you are, you have this near, you know, you have this huge asteroid, it's going to be whizzing by the earth. Um, listen to this, so you talk about a close shave. February 15th, that's when this asteroid about the size, half the size of a football field will fly past the Earth, 17,200 miles above our planet's surface. The moon is 245,000 miles. This is only going to be 17,000 miles. So put that in perspective, how close this rock is going to go whizzing by the Earth. 
Well, this has got NASA's attention. It's called the 2012 DA-14. This is a record-setting close approach, according to Don Yeomans of NASA, near-Earth object program. Uh, since regular sky surveys began in the 1990s, we've never seen an object this big get this close to the Earth. Earth's neighborhood is littered with asteroids of all shapes and sizes ranging from fragments smaller than beach balls to mountainous rocks many kilometers wide. Many of these objects hail from the asteroid belt, while others may be corpses of long dead burnt out comets. Now NASA's Near Earth Object Program helps find and keep track of them, especially the ones that come close to our planet. The 2012 DA-14 is fairly typical near-Earth asteroid. It measures about 50 meters wide, neither very large nor very small. It is probably made of stone, as opposed to metal or ice. Yeomans estimates that this asteroid, 2012 DA-14, flies past the Earth on average about every 40 years, yet actually strikes our planet maybe once in every 1,200 years or so. The impact of a 50-meter asteroid is not cataclysmic, not apocalyptic, unless you happen to be underneath it. What? Oh, Lord. But, Yeomans points out that a similar-sized object from form the mile wide meteor crater in Arizona um, that struck many, many, many years ago. Okay? Now, in 1908, there was something about the size of the 2012 DA 14 exploded in the atmosphere above Siberia, leveling hundreds of square miles of forest. Researchers are still studying on what the Tunguska event really was. 2012 DA-14 will definitely not hit Earth, but the orbit of the asteroid is known well enough to rule out an impact, okay? So, just say, this thing is going to go by close. This is a big rock, and it's going to go whizzing by close. And we haven't seen an asteroid of this size go by the Earth. We've never seen this before. This is a record as far as since we've been watching. This is a record-setting event. It's going to take place in about two weeks. It's going to be February 15th. It's going to go by the earth. We're going to keep a close eye on it. As the Bible says, uh, that. but in those days after the tribulation, but in those days after the tribulation, the sun shall be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars of heaven shall fall. And the powers that are in heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with power and great glory. And then shall he send his angels and shall gather together his elect. That's, uh, of course, the body of Christ from the four winds, from the uttermost part of the earth to the uttermost part of heaven. So, are you part of God's elect? Have you been born again? Are you saved? I'm reading to you directly from the Word of God. Time is running out. We are nearing the appro and the approaching time of the coming King. Now, yes, there is other biblical prophecies yet to be fulfilled, but I'm asking you a question. What if your life was to end tomorrow? What if time was to be no more? What if the Lord came? and gathered the bride, would you be going with the Lord? Or are you going to be left behind? Well, pastor, I'm not saved. I've never given my life to Jesus Christ. Well, then you're not going. You have to repent of your sins. Call upon the name of the Lord. See, he loves you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So if you would repent of your sins and call upon the Lord, you'll be ready when he comes to get the bride. You'll be ready when he comes at that midnight hour. He's coming for those that are looking for him. Lift up your head. Look up, for your redemption is drawing nigh. Give your life to Jesus Christ.